and welcome back to Science for Dummies. Hello, and I'm your host, Judge Jade Lutheran. And boy, do I have a treat for you today. Let's meet our contestants. She's shy, but a fireball once you get to know her. Sally Sunshine! Hi. And finally, she's loud and dumb. Let's hear it for Phyllis McGraw. Hello, I'm Aaron. Okay, settle down there. So this episode is all about Newton's three laws of motion. You ready to get started? Yeah. Okay, first question. What was Newton's first law of motion? A law of motion. Anyone else? Okay then, Newton's first law is when an object at rest stays at rest and an object in motion stays in motion with the same speed and same direction unless acted upon by an unbalanced force, like shown in the example. Okay, so do you get it? Yeah. Do you? Yeah. Alright, next question. What was Isaac's second law of motion? You. The law that is the second. Not quite. Um, I think that it's when acceleration of an object equals the net force acting on the object divided by the object's mass. <laughs> Correct! Great job! I don't know if we need to show the example. I think it would be helpful for this dummy over here. <sighs> yeah, let's see the example. Um, this happened because the couch has more mass than the chair, so it was heavier and harder to push. Great description! Final question. What was Newton's third law of motion? I don't know. Me either. But for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Cool! Let's check it out. Cool. Her weight on the chair has an equal reaction with the ground. Wow, that was great! Yeah, I had so much fun! Me too, and? <laughs> Congrats! You win a dictionary to help you in all your definitions, not only for science, but for other objects too. Thank you!